Plastics are found everywhere. Before we start, we need to know what plastic is. Plastics are used in an enormous and expanding range of products, from paper clips to spaceships. In the production process, oil, dyes, and certain chemicals are added in plastics, which might be a danger for our environment and health. Hong Kong is a densely populated city where people produce a lot of rubbish every day. To the astonishment of everyone, 85% of rubbish deposed to the Hong Kong landfill is plastics. Therefore, there are many organizations promoting environmentally friendly activities on plastic in order to raise public awareness. And recycling of plastics is one of the most encouraged action. However, only 0.5% of plastics was recycled locally in 2011. Among different types of plastic waste, waste in packaging is also serious. 1,000 tons of plastic bags were thrown out in 2014. Hello everybody, welcome to Hamburg, Germany. With our Hong Kong teammates, we have focused on the topic plastics in our home country. Our intention was to raise awareness for the issue on the whole planet and eventually to find ways to reduce the plastic usage in daily life. Here in our researches, we have noticed that the food packaging in the supermarkets is a main problem considering the plastic usage. Many fruits and vegetables are wrapped into plastic which increases the amount of plastic waste. Even if the fruits are sold loose, the customers are supposed to put them into plastic bags. A countless number of plastic packaging is used to sell cheese and meat. In general, plastic offers the great advantage of hygienic packing. Germs have no chance to harm the product. But still it's incredible how much waste accumulates every single day in every single household just due to the food. Even bread is sold in plastic, although the baker's shop is right in front of the supermarket. To further investigate the reality in Hong Kong, we tried to compare the differences of the use of plastic between supermarket and wet market when preparing a dinner for four people. We went to a supermarket to buy the ingredients. We bought cabbage, pork, pears, tomatoes, tofu and potatoes. After purchasing, the cashier also gave us extra plastic bags. We also measured the amount of plastic used in this shopping experience. It was altogether a 200 cm times 80 cm plastic sheet. Obviously, we used and waste a lot of plastic. Afterwards, we went to the wet market nearby. Obviously, there is less plastic in wet market. We bring our recycle bag and container to haul our things that we need to buy. And we have never used any of plastic bag. Although we buy the same thing, it is more sustainable to buy in wet market. We want to show that you can almost avoid buying plastic in German supermarkets. You just have to be aware of the possibilities. To verify this allegation, we bought the same products twice. The first time we bought normal products, but the second time we paid attention on the packing and preferred non-plastic products. For example, we took loose tomatoes instead of the ones wrapped in plastic. In the end, we hardly bought any plastic. So we want to point out that everybody has the chance to reduce his plastic usage with very small effort. To investigate further, we went to our school to see what the situation is about waste plastic. Surprisingly, our tech shop used around 590 plastic bags a day. Most of the food are wrapped in plastic bags for both packaged snacks such as biscuits, yogurts, and freshly cooked food. Here are some examples, like sandwich, beef balls, and chicken breast. 
Every school day, we use ten plastic bags for chew chow style dumplings, beef balls, chicken skira, fried dumplings, respectively, and we use twenty plastic bags for cuttlefish balls, chicken wings, crispy bean crochet. Egg and curry fish balls, and for the lotus leaf rice fish balls and sausages, we use fifty plastic bags every day. We use sixty plastic bags for sandwiches and chicken breast. And the most serious use of plastic bags every day is Indomie. Even when we go out for lunch, we use a lot of plastic holders for our takeaway. And the next step, we took a look at our school. We have a students' cafe, which is led by a group of pupils, where we are also members. That's why we were able to start a campaign. So we offered a menu that doesn't include plastic packing, a glass bottle in comparison with the usual plastic bottle. Additionally, has the advantage that it can be reused by washing it, and it doesn't include any harmful chemicals. In this way, we could draw our customers' attention to the fact that you definitely can reduce your plastic usage. Considering the wider community level, we decided to publish our results on a Facebook page to make it available for everyone. The posts include general information about plastic. For instance, why it is harmful for the environment, but they also include advices how you can reduce your plastic usage. So, what can we do in school to use less plastic? Actually, our school provides baked bowl rice with reusable tableware and bowl, and all the containers are made of metals instead of plastic. We think that it is a possible solution for us to use less plastic in school and or even in the society.